Hi everybody, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Okay, now it's going to be quite a long one, this I'll warn you now. As you know, most of my videos are, I never get straight to the point, but uh, this is probably going to be longer than uh, most. I'm going to be doing the, the proper sort of like review and uh, what I think of these three um, different neckband Bluetooth speakers at the very end. But the main purpose of this video is to show that not all some of these are some of them aren't compatible in sending the voice instructions to a couple of um garmin zumo zumo garmin zumo motorcycle sat navs now the reason i need or i wanted one of these is to i'll just put my glasses on to hear the turn left turn right so on instructions while I'm driving my kit car, which is open top, if I'm driving at speed, you can't hear it through the speakers in the car. I'll show you my car first. There it is. It's me pride and joy. I've had it about 15 years. It's 25 years old in two days. So it's exactly it's a silver birthday in two days time. So uh, this photo was taken uh, a few years back, but it looks exactly the same now. Um, not it's pretty good i think for a 25 year old car but uh, as you can see it's a three-wheeler and it's totally over open topped it has a motorbike engine so it's quite loud and as you're driving at speed on the motorway uh, all the wind you can't hear bluetooth instructions through a bluetooth uh, through a um you can't hear the sat nav instructions through any built-in speaker of any sat nav or even ones wired in to uh, to the car itself so with this my original uh, garmin zoom 595 which i've had a few years there is no built-in speaker on either the sat nav or the mount it fits to so you have to wire it up to speakers in your car or use its bluetooth facility to transmit to a helmet now these are primarily made for motorcyclists the reason i want one is the waterproofness i have I've tried other sat nads way way back in the in the scorpion and tried to cover them up in in rainstorms with uh, plastic bags and that and they, they haven't been ideal so i got this a few years back and it performs great apart from as i've discovered recent reasonably recently it doesn't communicate with all bluetooth devices read the voice instructions i'll go into it in more detail very shortly but i'll show you the setup i've got in uh, in the scorpion and ha how i first started using it with just a, an external speaker okay so this is me set up in the scorpion at the moment when i'm not using anything bluetooth to hear the instructions with they go through wired in to this little marine radio you can probably just see the word OGS showing in the display auxiliary. So that's getting an auxiliary input now from the Garmin sat-nav. The, the whole hole to the left is what I store the, uh, the, the Garmin mount on, which I'll show you shortly. Main power switch here. These two little ones are wired up on the Scorpion. Feed the Garmin. And as you can see, this is the Garmin 595. And this is now wired up through the wiring loom of the, the Garmin to the auxiliary input of that little uh, marine radio I've just shown you. So if we go into here, you'll hear how loud it is. And uh, there, just select any address, start new route. And you'll hear shortly how loud it is. Please drive the highlighted route. So really really loud through these two speakers here this one on the left and the other one obviously behind my foot there which is great around normal towns and, uh, and when you stopped and that but quite embarrassing as well because it is so loud but you still don't hear it on the motorway so what i did next was I got this little thing the idea being i could put it in this mount here i won't put it in now but it's just a little uh, separate speaker with a jack and i can put that jack in that socket there 
which are wired into the speakers but even that wasn't really loud enough so then hence me getting this Iona speaker and all that was a lot louder and I could sort of hear that it was extremely embarrassing in villages when you got it so loud that people are turning around to it here so uh, I just want something near in my ears that uh, me and only people very very near me can hear and that's the uh, that's the idea about getting these Bluetooth headbands so it's a bit hard to see here because um, we're in a darkened garage so they both look quite good but the new XT on the left is much much brighter and it's much more visible in uh, bright sunlight but I'll be going into that fully when I do the proper review on the two sat navs so uh, anyway back to the review on three headband speakers now so as you saw there that's a uh, thing I wired up you can plug the uh, the wiring loom that you get with this uh, 595 into those speakers as an auxiliary input on the marine radio and hear it there but being at low level in the footwell each side they do get muffled by yourself and a passenger with you and you can't really hear it when you're going fast and there's a lot of wind noise and a lot of engine noise so i thought i'd have a, a speaker higher up and like i just showed you in the, in the car i tried a little white one first which wasn't loud enough and then i tried um, this one the uh an amazon eona here it is on uh, amazon here there so that's what i bought a while ago to put on the dash and receive bluetooth instructions from the thing from the garmin but as i'll show you shortly doesn't work it picks up music files but not the voice instructions which is the strange problem so that was my first bluetooth failure luckily it's got um you can plug an extension lead in it via a lead in the back and that can plug into an, the extension socket i showed you earlier in the car so i could receive quite loud voice instructions from the sat of there but it was pretty embarrassing when i pulled up at lights and that and it was saying at the next corner turn left really really loud so what i wanted was something high up either ear earphones type things sunglasses with the um, speakers in or a neckband to give me the voice instructions without it being unbelievably loud to everybody else and something comfortable to wear so after reading a few uh, online reviews on these neckbands i, I decided against the, uh, the sunglasses type ones mainly because i actually need prescription glasses when i'm driving now you can get certain ones that you can fit prescription lenses but that's at least a 50 pounds upgrade to get them made by your optician and fitted and everything or it's a you're trying to wear the sunglasses over your uh, already prescription glasses so i ruled them out and i thought a neck mount speaker would be ideal so after reading a few reviews i bought this one as you see it's a monster boomerang if you want to read any of the, uh, the details you can freeze the frame and it does sound fantastic out of the three here it sounds the best like i say i'll be doing the sound tests on them and review towards the end of this if you want to skip to that straight now but the problem was and i shall show you now it does not send the voice instructions or it doesn't receive the voice instructions from the garmin but it does receive the mp3 music files in either of these you can store music on them or obviously on your phone the main things these are, are made for is to connect to your phone and play your music files and make and receive phone calls through your phone all of them do that fine my phone connects to all of these devices no problem at all but it doesn't connect to these voice uh, but the sat nav doesn't connect to these via the voices as i'll show you shortly but when it's playing the music in that it is the best sounding of them all so 
Oh, forgot the other device that it works great on the sat-nav is this helmet. Now, I only wear this when it's raining in the Scorpion. You see, it's got a little microphone and it's great. You can talk, your two passengers can talk. But I've only sort of worn, I only hate wearing the helmet. It's, it's great driving the car with the wind blowing through short hair and uh on the, on hot days it's fantastic but in a helmet i just don't i just don't like it at all but i do put it on in the cold and in the rain and we've been in some uh, hellish rainstorms particular one in a upper mountain in switzerland at night uh on a euro trip a few years ago the, the horrendous rainstorm from hell um glad we had these and the bluetooth worked perfectly with the voice instructions in that so no problems with that but I'll show you now, connecting up the Monster um, Boomerang to the sat-nav and I'll show you the problem I have. Okay, so I've got the, the Monster Boomerang next speaker paired up with Bluetooth already to the uh, Garmin GPS. Like I said, at this stage of the video where I'm just showing you this incompatibility, I won't show you the pairing process or anything. I'll, I'll run through that and show you how easy it is at the end of the video. It's the same on all, all three of these neckband speakers. So I've just started filming on the uh, Osmo Action now to show you a bit clearer. This uh, speaker will probably pick it up a bit better, this microphone. So as you can see, I've got some a music file loaded. This is from YouTube's copyright-free um, stuff. So... Uh, it's not stuff I'd normally play, but uh, as you know, you'll get a copyright strike if you um, you play a copyrighted material. So I'll just play this now through the, bo the boomerang. So as you can hear, it's picking up. Yeah. So, as you can see, picking up music files, perfect. Pause that, put it down. If, but if I now do this, as you as you see, there's no clicks coming from it. There's absolutely no clicks when you when you press these buttons. You would hear a click through your neckband speaker normally. But there's none of them either. And as I select somewhere, say that. As you see, nothing. That should be saying start the route and stuff like that now. It breaks into the, the music file, but it's just a blank file. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I start the music playing again. And then I'll go through. calculating its route, there's a blank, that's when it will be transmitting the voice now. They want to see and so as you see the monster no good for my purposes. Which is a pity because it's my favourite out of all of them. It sounds the best, like I say you'll see. Hopefully this will pick up the um, the differences in sound later on when I do the review on these, but it's lovely and flexible. It's dead like it fits around really nice. The speakers fit, and it's quite bassy and it sounds really good. But like I say, not able to use that. So we'll just turn this off. Goodbye. This is a little goodbye. Okay, so this again is on one that doesn't work voice wise with it. The uh, Iona speaker that I showed you earlier. This will be a bit louder, but I'll just show you what I mean. So here we've got it uh, lined up to play the same song again. Never break. Always no fight, problem. never quit. Always right. Get the game. Win your life. Have no 
shame. Stop. There's no time for the pain. Let the grind. I could change Stop. my mind. Root. Make a lane. Commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch. Hand me the hat. Put me in the ring. You'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the bad light. Again, just a blank. I time to kill like a time to feel like a blank pill. I know life's short, so I wanna live real good. Wrongs are supposed to. Powering off. So, as I just showed you, two devices now, neither of them working with the Garmin. So I thought, I knew my Bluetooth helmet worked, because I'd used that years and years before, worked fine. So, I, at this stage, I get in touch with Garmin. I'm showing you all that on the, um, the latest Garmin, the XT Zumo. Zumo. But I did send them a question about why this should be happening in relation to the 595. It works exactly the same on there. Both are identical when it comes to this problem. And I got no reply from them. That was three weeks. Took out um, a support ticket on their website. Got no reply at all. So I rung up Garmin and I said, why should this be happening? Is it on two? Are they on two different channels? The music, the voices, and that. He he couldn't explain it. I told him it would work with some devices and not others. Are they using different protocols or something? Again, he couldn't explain it. But he did say if you were interested in the new one, which I was anyway because of the extra features, the satellite imagery, the free uh, subscription to the uh, car data, which the older one was a. Uh, something like eight pounds a month subscription eight pounds a year subscription to um much much brighter screen that was the, the my main reason so i wanted it anyway and he said well if you go ahead and order it from us if it doesn't work with the equipment you want it to just send it back we'll give you a full refund which amazon would have done anyway and i looked for it all over uh, everywhere and uh, it was the same price from direct from Garmin. So it's, uh, I'll show you here. Eono speaker I've just uh, shown you. And uh, I'll just show you these now. That's the, the boat ra uh, radio that I showed you in the car, which is pretty good. Uh, it receives radio and auxiliary input and, and stuff like that. Um, here is the Zumo I got from the XT direct from Garmin here the uh, the monster boomerang I did not get from Garmin because as you can see it's a hundred quid they've got a 30 quid offer on here but that would only bring you down to like uh, 70 quid which I thought was pretty expensive I managed to get it from a guy on eBay here he was advertising them for something like 44 or make an offer I made an offer of 38 and he accepted straight away and these are brand new so if you want to make a note of that, uh, name them RJ Home Store, and uh, it was 38 quid. Uh, I'm not going to send it back to the, the seller because there's nothing wrong with it. He hasn't done anything wrong. And I know eBay can be absolute swines with the, the way they treat sellers. That's why I've stopped selling on eBay now. Um, so I'm not sending it back. I'll, I'll just keep it for, for other things or sell it on um but yeah it was only 38 quid so uh that's that so i'm now in the situation that at this stage i've got one bluetooth speaker that won't pick up the voices i've got a great sounding neckband speaker that is fantastic on music files and everything but won't pick up the voices i've got my helmet that will pick up the voices i even tried it on this um Bose Revolve, absolutely superb sound. Um, should have done a review on that when I got it. That did pick up the voices. So this and the helmet did. The Monster neckband and the uh, Ono speaker didn't. So I'm now at the stage that I'm still wanting some sort of neckband speaker. So what I did, I ordered this one. It's uh, an Inu Osuma, a new Osuma BS25. 
BS is an un, uh, unfortunate terminology that I've used, but as you can see, like I said, I'll be showing you these in detail later and showing you the sound comparisons. But, if we take that out of the box, I'll show you what happens when we try to pair this up. The reason I bought this was it was the cheapest one on uh, Amazon. And I knew that if this one didn't work, being Amazon and the, the great return policy they have, I could uh, send it back. I'll just show you here on Amazon. So this was the one. Uh, what's it called again, Nick Band? If you just make a note of this, NUO Suma and that uh, B, what was it? B. BS25. But like I said, being only £19.99, 20 quid, I thought it's worth a punt. So I went ahead and, uh, and got it. Now, I don't like this speaker. As soon as I've finished filming this uh, video, this is going back to Amazon. The reason being, it's just uncomfortable. It doesn't flex anything like as much as the boomerang. It's quite stiff put it around your neck like that and as you can see the speakers are facing inwards so they're not that good a sound again when I do the full review at the end I'll hold the mic over them all in the same place and you can hear the different sound but it sounds not bad when you hold it up to your ears like that but down there it's muffled by your chin and it isn't very comfortable the way it hangs there but this one works so let's uh, just put these to one side I told you it'd be a complicated video of this so I'll start set up the uh, Osmo again and uh, we'll film this one connecting up so let's try this we will go back to uh, where are we thinking of film looks there Turn this on. Bluetooth mode. Connected. Right. It says connected already. So I'll put the uh, speaker, the microphone there. And already, I don't know whether you heard that little click. So when I tried this for the first time, I thought, oh, please, please, please work already it's picking up the, the button clicks so that's a good sign so again we'll go into that we'll start playing the same file we'll now go into the view map so go into uh, where to Start a new route. And this time, please drive to highlight of the route. Great, hallelujah! Hope you heard that there. It says the voice prompt. As you saw, the music was playing great. When voice instruction, voice guidance from the sat-nav came in, saying, please drive to highlighted route, it interrupted the music. You heard that fine. And then the music uh, came on after that. So, yeah, great. Even though this one... I'll just turn the Osmo off. Even though this one is uncomfortable... And the, the music doesn't sound anything like as bassy and, and nice as the uh, boomerang. It does pick up voices and music files, which is exactly what I want. Why are some cheapo uh, headsets, neckband uh, Bluetooth headsets, able to pick it up? The dearer uh, Monster One isn't. 
there's some even more expensive ones, as you'll know, Bose and Sony. Whether they pick it up, I don't know. If Bose or Sony see this video and they want to send me one for review, I'll willingly do it and test if it picks up voices as well. But I know the cheap one does. So, I don't like this. I'm not, I, I wouldn't want to wear it on a longer journey. And like I said, the sound, I'm not going to hear it great on the motorway because it's, it's facing into your neck like that. But what I did then, I searched for the same make. I'll just turn oh, this off. No. Searched for the same make, Iono Suma, I think it was, on Amazon, and I found this one. This one here. Same make as you see, Iono Suma, but the speakers, as you can see there, are fit on the top of the unit. So they're under your ears just like they are on the the monster boomerang and you can see that that's how it works all of them have sort of a similar uh, play time and uh, battery life and all that all, all will, will suit me fine so it's just a matter of finding one that's compatible and one that uh, that sounds okay and is comfortable to wear so I went ahead and bought that and the following day, oh, I didn't show you. First of all, this is the box for the one I've just shown you. Quite a nice box, sleeve and everything. That's just a sleeve, there's a box within a box. That was the 20 quid speaker. The 35 one by the same company arrives in a, a pretty uh, plain Jane cardboard box. Like I say, I'll do a full review later, but they all come with a USB lead, whatever fits them. Some are USB, uh, uh, micro USB, some are USB-C. And I kept my fingers crossed that this one would work because this is quite comfortable. It's not as flexible as the, um, the boomerang. But as you can see, the, the speakers are under your ears. And it's, it's a nice soft feel. And uh, waterproof again. I don't think it's got the same waterproof rating. It's IPX5. The boomerang was IPX7. But be fine for showers. Because it, even if it's throwing it down, it's it, you still have to protect it by the windscreen. And that's how it, it doesn't get too wet around here. But uh, as you see, same make and that. So oh, let's see if this one works. Okay, so that's it. Play the music on the, uh, the ones I've just shown you. This one, these ones, the comfy to wear ones. I've got the volume turned way down. It goes much, much louder than that. So I'm hoping you can hear my voice. And if I now go back into here. This time again, you should hear the voice instructions interrupt the music, and then when the voice instructions finish, the music kicks back in. Please drive to highlight a boot. So again, it worked fantastic. I've got the instructions and the music playing on that. So we've still got it placed there. But you're just hearing it now through the, uh, the speaker, the, the microphone I'm using here. And you can hear how loud it will go. So loads and loads of volume, particularly when the voice comes through. That's right. If any, this is the I'm not on the third one. If any of them out of the three neckband ones, that is the loudest. Um, not as bassy and as nice an all-round sound as the boomerang, but it is the loudest. And for my purpose. That's ideal. I, I want to hear that voice in the wind on the uh, on the motorway. So uh, yeah, so that shows you it does work on the Garmin. So 
the Bolsha Evolve works. This Iono Sumo, Sumo, both of them, the BS7 and the BS5. All of them work, as does the Viper Bluetooth helmet. The ones that don't work are the Iona speaker and the Monster Boomerang. Okay, so I'd recorded nearly all of the video, but I'm adding this as a little extra the following day because I've only just received this email, so uh, hence the sudden change of <laughs> colour. But I've just received this now. I didn't have it at the time. Uh, as a reply from uh, Garmin. Like I said, I sent uh, an email to them regarding this problem on my 595, um, but when the new one came, and I, I got no reply from the support to ticket there, must have got lost or something like that. But I sent this one about uh, three days ago, and they've replied to this. So I just want to read this to you, uh, the reason. And it says, Hello, Tom. Happy to clarify, the Zumo models are designed to be compatible with Bluetooth handsets, I think she means headsets, and helmets, not necessarily speakers or communication systems. Sometimes they do work, but it usually has to do with the type of audio built into the speaker. Headsets and helmets include an audio type called A2DP, essentially meaning it has a multiband system, not a single bandwidth. Advanced Audio Distribution Profile, brackets A2DP, allows you to stream stereo, brackets two-channel audio, from a mobile phone to a compatible wireless headset via a Bluetooth connection. Garmin devices with A2DP Bluetooth compare to both a mobile phone and a headset. This allows all audio from both the Garmin device and the mobile phone to be output through the headset. To be honest, I know nothing about the speakers you mentioned, as I do not own them, and we don't test third-party products not designed to be used with a Garmin. But a couple of decades of working in this department tells me this is why you cannot get all audio through some of your speaker choices. Unfortunately, we do not have a way to make it work with your speaker of choice. Thank you for choosing Garmin. Carla, product support. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much to Carla. Uh, a proper personal reply, not an automated reply. Um, I emailed a Boomerang as well, the one that won't work, and uh, just got fobbed off. Oh, you'll have to uh, email the seller and that. It was not the seller's fault or uh, eBay's fault. It's the fault of the manufacturer. Or, or I just wanted a reason why theirs wouldn't work. And some others, but uh, got no proper reply. So, uh, yeah, a reasonable explanation there from Garmin. And it's a pity that all manufacturers of Bluetooth products don't make them fully compatible with each other. Uh, like I said, why should two of the cheaper neckband headsets I've got work fine with it? And the dearest of the three, the Boomerang, not. Um, it's just going to be a gamble if you do want to use this method of using the, the uh, a Garmin sat nav. And like I said, I'm probably pretty unique wanting to use this, but th there are other people who might want to pump it through the car speakers, use these models or, or other Garmin models, um, pump through the car speakers via Bluetooth or something like that, and it may not be compatible, but wouldn't it be nice if all manufacturers just had a standard thing that just worked in every instance but uh, like i say i, I do realize it, it's not garmin's fault as such they are designed for helmets and uh, earpieces and not not bluetooth speakers which which these are but uh, it's just a pity they don't so uh, i just thought I'd, I'd add that bit in because uh, i am grateful for the reply from garmin okay back to the video so like i said that, that sort of concludes this bit of the video on the compatibility of them with the, the Bluetooth. I'll now go into a more sort of in-depth review in each one. I'll hold the mic over each one or put it in exactly the same place to try and give you a feeling for the sound that each one's producing and go through a bit more of the features of each one. So let's get uh, straight into that now. So we'll start off with uh, these. These are the cheapest ones I got. I've just shown you, but the ones that actually do work with the Garmin. 
Um, like I said, the only reason I'm sending these back is that the sound quality isn't as good and they're not very comfortable to wear, but I'll show you in detail soon. So that's the, the back. If you want to freeze through that and read any details of it. Looks like they're available in various colours, but I only saw it in, in white. And I've weighed all of them, and these are the middle of the three in weight. These are at 243 grams in weight. Is it 243? Yeah, 243 grams in weight. So, nice packaging. 20 quid, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's one of the best packaging of the three. The top sleeve that comes off. And then in there, you've got your headphones. In this box, you've got your instruction book and your charging lead. Now, this is USB-C as well. So, good on them for that, putting a USB-C connection on this. And I won't show you the, uh, the the pairing up on any of them because it's all basically the same. As soon as you turn them on, it just goes into uh, automatic pairing mode and you then turn your phone on or whatever device you're going to use for, for playing your, your songs and um, put it on Discovery, the usual, the usual method. But they all connected up perfectly. And like I say, it works perfectly with the phone and the voices of the Garmin and the music files. So I'll just start playing that same song. So you're going to hit listen to the same one over and over, but I can't put anything else on with copyright issues. So turn them on here. There's an on-off switch here. And you've just two buttons. Increase volume, decrease volume by holding it in, or if you press instantly, it... Um, skips forward and back tracks all of them receive phone calls great i'll put a phone file on the uh, other uh, phone conversation later on and um of the one i'll be using but they all basically sound when i've rung my daughter up to try them she said they sound as good on on all of them really so turn it on bluetooth load your, your charging thing is there rubber plug and your usb socket in there and like i say it's in usb mode now connected it's connected i'll just test it yeah so i'm gonna turn the gopro on again not the gopro the osmo action Okay, so I'm going to uh, position the uh, road mic now in the position where your ears would probably be. As you see on this one, the speakers are here facing inwards towards your neck. And your neck is filling this gap, so it's definitely not going to sound as good. They really should be sort of on the top here. So I'm going to hold this. Out there. Just bear with me while I start the music file going. It's no time for the pain, let the grind, I could change my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, this hand me the back. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail. I took a red pill. I know life's short, so I wanna live real. Okay, that's a maximum volume now. Okay, so that was that. Again, it doesn't sound too bad, and, and plenty and plenty of volume 
but like I say, with the speakers facing in, to every word for it, it does muffle the sound. Right, so that's them. There they're going back. I can pack them away now. I've already got the return label filled for uh, Amazon, and unfortunately, they will be going back. Now, the next ones, I'll try all these. These are the ones I'm keeping. These again, same manufacturer, Eon also, but these are the BS. BS07. Um, these are the ones I'm sticking with. Like I showed you at the beginning of the video, these are the only ones that are comfortable to wear that are compatible with the voices on the, the Bluetooth. So again, I'll position them in the same place. Get them connected. Bluetooth connected successfully. Okay, so I'll hold the mic. I'll put them on maximum volume. As you probably heard, the, the beep then on maximum volume. We're going to hold the mic in the same, roughly in the same position there, and uh, see how these sound. Some mood you lack, I go crazy. Nah, bitch, I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on the shit daily. Pass me the jack, right? This fuel got me hazy. About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing. I've got visions in my head, like memories I forget. To be a legend instead of something you can forget. I'm living up every breath. I'd rather leave them be light. I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said. Okay, so uh, I don't know how that sounded to you, but not as loud, I don't think, as the white ones, which will be going back. Um, but when they're on your neck, they are louder because the, the, they're not being muffled by your neck going in sideways. They are coming up to your ear. So again plenty of volume uh, i'm gonna I've, I've yet to test them in a, just in the car in the wind uh, at 70 on the motorway or whatever but uh, i can't see me not hearing uh, voice guidance on that so like i said they're a keeper and finally the boomerang ones power off Okay, so these are the boomerang ones, and like I said, these, in my opinion, are the best sound by quite a distance. But like I say, I can't use them for my purpose because they don't pick up the voice instructions. That's the back of the box. Hopefully, you'll be able to make out that. And nice box hanging thing there as well. Yeah, this is the thickest cardboard of them all. I forgot to say, by the way, the USB connection on that last set, the uh, BS07s, that is a micro USB. So USB C on the cheapest white ones, which are going back. This is USB C, but the ones I'm keeping are not micro USB. So the earlier model, the 05 instead of the 07 of, of them, in many ways is is, is um, better with the USB-C and the, the volume and that. The weight, by the way, of the ones I've just said were 306 grams. So they are the heaviest ones. The ones I'm keeping are the heaviest ones. And the lightest of the lot are these. Boomerang ones at 230 grams. So again, you get a little instruction book just telling you how to, to pair it up and that. And a USB-A to USB-C charging lead. They all have their own little charging lead in. And these, like I said, these, they feel nicer. They, they look nicer in my opinion. It's a nice mesh there. The more waterproof IPX7 very very flexible lovely to wear the lightest that's feel great um 
well worth the 34 quid I got it from. Like I said, I think it 38 quid, was it? It usually sells for 44, which is still half what Amazon are asking for it. So uh, let's, here are these. The um, charging lead, again, drilled in a similar place. They all have like a rubber bung USB-C in there. And this one has on off this is in got gold paint on so you can see them a bit better on off button up and down volume and the same buttons for uh, select track they're all pretty much the same either hold them in constantly to uh, change volume or press momentarily varies on each one but it's all all in the books and uh, that one is the uh, to pet the uh, Bluetooth pairing thing. It starts up in pairing mode anyway, but if you want to put it in after, you can you press that one. So again, I'm going to place it in the same place. Hopefully you may be able to hear some difference on this. I'll queue up the song, get him connected, and then we'll uh, we'll see what these sound like. Always fight, never quit, always right, take the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that track, taking big swings, big sham, you attack, put me in the wind, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to feel like just a red pill I know life's short, so I wanna live real But how's it supposed to feel? How's it supposed to feel? How's it supposed to feel? Okay, so uh, I don't know whether you could hear the difference uh, there, but just just with them sat on the bench like that, I could I could tell the difference was more bassy. They tend to attenuate down if you have the volume too loud. I think it does look like trying to reduce it a bit, but it's still plenty loud enough to to hear stuff from. And like I said, it, it is an, a much much more bassy sound you're never going to get on anything like this as good a sound as proper headphones or or even in in ear ones but they're in in practical driving a car you, you want something open that you can hear uh, traffic stuff with as well as like your sat nav i've not tried any of these bone conducting earphones them too would be ideal i've seen some uh, i forget what, what they were called um Again, if anybody wants to send me some bone conducting earphones to try, see if they're compatible with the Garmin, I'll uh, I'll test them. But uh, no, if all you're bothered about is connecting it up to your phone, this would be the one I recommend. Um, out of the three I've tested, all of them play MP3 music files from my phone, no problem at all. It's just the problem with receiving the voices from the Garmin that. Uh, the, the main purpose of this video i did try um making a voice call with the other ones as well and my daughter said all of them sounded perfect to her so the microphone on each one seems to be equally as good and i could hear her perfectly uh, through it as well and I'll, I'll use the garmin as well so i've got my phone and this connected to my garmin so it can it shows you all three can be connected at once the phone can be in my pocket while I'm driving along and any phone alerts come up on screen or I can dial from, from the screen. Okay, so um, that's it then. Uh, to summarise, if you're like me and your main reason for getting one of these neckbands is to listen to your voice instructions from your Garmin, you, you won't be able to use the, bo the boomerang and maybe some other ones, I don't know. Um, I think I mentioned earlier on uh, Bose sony any bone conducting headphone people if you want to send me something for review i'll see if it's compatible with the uh, the voice instructions from the garmin and uh, and uh, do a review on that as well but so far this was like the only make of neckband stuff that was able to uh, receive the voices now i was going to do 
a bit of a thing, tag a bit of a thing on the end um, for this and my other. What's the other? Something Showing you the difference in screen between this, uh, my older Garmin 595 and the newer um, Garmin XT. But uh, I held it up to the camera and they were just blown out. What I want to show you is the difference in sunlight between the two, because that's the main main reason for me getting it. So that's a whole new uh, different review. So that'll be coming along shortly. I'll test them side by side in my, in my car and go through the advantages and disadvantage with each of them models show and show you them in action um i've got the review coming up on my electric bike that i mentioned last time um spoiler alert i'm absolutely loving the electric bike uh, i'm glad i got this one it's it's really great i've only done about 15 miles so far and it's been absolutely great um so that's going to come up so shortly There'll also be a little uh, sort of tourist guide. I'm going to take a ride on the electric bike between where I live in the village of Thornton Cleveland up to Fleetwood and show you some items of interest uh, along the way. Uh, they're not that interesting, but uh, might be of interest to anybody coming to the area. And um, whatever else takes me fancy. So uh, I shall keep the reviews coming. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so by clicking the little picture here of the shed and click the bell underneath and you'll get informed of any upcoming reviews thanks for watching this one hope it's been of some use catch you for the next one very very soon bye for now